Hey there folks, welcome back to the Tower Tech. Today we are conducting a great experiment. Can you buy something you've already got on a Prime Day deal and not get killed by your wife? I already had a Ring Video Doorbell 2 and I've just bought myself on offer a Ring Doorbell Pro. This video is gonna be a comparison between the two to tell you which one is better value for your money. Let's get into it. If you're new here, folks, please consider subscribing. There's a myriad of tech-related content on the channel, PC builds, water cooling, home automation, smart home stuff, and a whole load of stuff around drones, cinematography, videography. There's a whole myriad of great content to keep you coming back, so click that bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of the great upcoming content. So, on paper, there's really not very much between these two devices. Both of them sport a 1080p wide angle sensor that's got night vision capability. The big difference appears to be that one supports a battery, that's the Ring Doorbell 2, and one does not, that's the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. So on the surface of it, and on paper, it appears like you're actually getting a little bit less for the Ring Pro, which kind of seems odd given that it's got a higher price. So what are you getting for the money? Before we get into that, it's also worth noting that here in the UK, the doorbell chime that's up on your wall is unlikely to support the sort of voltage that you need to put through this device. This device only supports voltages between 16 and 18 volts. That's AC. It doesn't support DC. It does include a transformer in the box, but this thing is a royal pain in the ass. It's a DIN mounted device that means it goes into your consumer unit. And if you don't understand what any of that means, then you shouldn't be doing it. Essentially where you've got all your trip breakers, there is a transformer that will go in there and mount on a rail. If you take this approach, then you are gonna need to get yourself an electrician, which is gonna add in a whole heap of cost to this build. Personally, I opted to get myself a different doorbell chime one that had a slightly beefier transformer in it. As I dug deep into the pages, into the support pages on the Ring website, I did find that the device will support eight volts AC at one amp. Practically, I found that the doorbell that I bought actually, albeit it was rated at this, did actually deliver about 15 and a half volts. Now, look at the wiring very carefully before you go and do this. If you're gonna be pumping as much as an amp through that wiring, you are gonna to have to have sufficient diameter on the cabling. You can achieve this by adding a whole heap of wiring together. Now I had coaxial cable that looks like Cat5 running in my wall. So all I did was just add in more twisted pairs, which gives me more wire diameter that can carry more current. Good analogy to think about this is, if voltage is the flow of the river and current is the size of the river, and if you're putting a big river through a pipe, you need a pipe that's big enough to do it. Therefore, you need thicker cabling, as I say, can be achieved by adding more twisted pairs together. Once the ring is physically installed, you use the app to complete the software setup. This is pretty intuitive and straightforward. Doesn't really differentiate from any of the other products, but it is simple to get set up. Ring doorbell is in setup mode. Follow the instructions in the ring app. So by respective contrast, the Ring Video Doorbell 2 is much easier to install because you've got that battery, you've got great flexibility about where you can put the device. And so you get left leaving a little bit confused about the offering for the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. On paper, it's pretty much the same, but it lacks the battery and it's a whole heap of a pain more to install. So what did I find on the device and was it worth it? So I'm gonna go out there and say the picture is much better. The contrast is certainly richer and the image overall just appears much clearer. The night vision is also substantially better. A recent release of the firmware has provided what Ring call enhanced night vision. Previously, that was all black and white, and certainly what I got my Ring Video Doorbell 2 was all black and white, but this does introduce color. There's a whole heap of street lighting outside of my house, and actually this thing managed to record color pretty much all night, which was fantastic, and it's not 
horribly grainy and completely illegible. It's reasonable picture quality that is going to allow you to pick out in my instance, 90% of what you see at night is cats, and they do keep sh** in my garden. You're also able to set up motion zones like I was with the floodlight cam on the Ring Video Doorbell 2. You can set respective distance that it will detect objects. This actually allows you to look through the eye of the camera, as it were, and actually set out the motion zones that you actually want to detect motion in. This is a really handy feature if you live next to a road, because you can exclude all of the traffic going backwards and forwards, which I must say on the Ring Video Doorbell 2 was the mainstay of the alerts that I got. And you can specifically set zones for, say, just your path or the garden around it. It's fantastic. It really does give you some granularity about what you do and don't detect. It also allows you to differentiate between objects, animals, and people. Now, it doesn't have the sort of capability that the Nest camera range up has, where it actually alerts you and tell you that it's seen a person. But there's definitely some algorithms at work here, and it will completely disregard all of the nonsense cats and cars going past, and is able to differentiate people. You can set a slider setting to only alert you when it's picking up people. It does this interesting feature where it's continuously recording about three or four seconds of footage. It's clearly got some sort of buffer in the device. It's not actually uploading and streaming that to the internet. But when it does detect a motion event, it records the first three or four footage before that event was triggered and then records onwards. In addition to that, it does continuously record if it continues to detect motion, which the Ring Video Doorbell 2 most certainly does not. All of which I think provides a much better offering that you're more likely to capture the sort of events that you're interested in. Any burglar with any kind of knowledge of these devices could stand in front of the Ring Video Doorbell 2 and just wait the 30 seconds it records data and then go about doing everything that they want to. It does split all of the files up into one minute files, but of course you can easily string these together and there's no kind of judder or jump between these. It is continuous recording. So you get that three seconds before before you start uh, recording due to a motion event and then continuous recording afterwards. The Ring Video Doorbell 2 has a kind of wake up period because it's running on a battery. It kind of wakes up, your, your footage is all kind of washed out and distorted, and then you only get 30 seconds of recording. So that for me is a substantially improved offering. And I've found the same kind of thing on their camera lineup, the battery operated cameras behave very much in the same kind of way that the Ring Video Doorbell 2 does, this, this is behaving very much like the Floodlight Cam does. And it strikes a really nice balance between not uploading, consuming bandwidth on your internet connection all the time, and being able to capture the events that you're interested in. So is this device worth it? I'm going to say a big yes. It's much more likely to capture the footage that you want. It's much better quality when it does so. It is pernickety and a bit of a pain to get set up, but once you've got it set up, I have to say it's a substantially better offering. And I have to say the Prime Day deal that I got was fantastic. I actually paid less money for this than I did the Ring Video Doorbell 2, which is fantastic. And I've in no way said all of these things to placate my wife. I'm sure we will donate the Ring Video Doorbell 2 to a worthy course because the Ring Doorbell Pro is staying on my front door and is performing fantastically. So there we go guys, a quick roundup of the Ring Doorbell Pro, a worthy upgrade if you've got the Ring Video Doorbell 2 and you're frustrated with either the night vision, the length of recording or the lack of enhanced Pro features. I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are, please like and share this video, subscribe if you're not, there's plenty of great content to come. I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. I will see you in my next one. They both sport a 1080p wide angle. What's ice cream? Boom!